welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on high-performance computing. Today, my guest is Molly Presley. She's from Cumulo. Molly, welcome to the show today. Thanks, Rich. So glad to be here. Well, well, geez, Molly, it's been a while since we've talked. You know, you've been at Cumulo a while here, and we're coming right into ISC in Germany. So uh, so just uh, real quick, what's new at Cumulo? Yeah, sounds great. So um, ramping up for, you know, the big supercomputing conference, all of us file system vendors are really focusing on how our high performance file systems being adopted today. Um, really what do different workloads, both in the very big supercomputing environment, as well as in scientific research and some of even the commercial HPC applications need from our technology to continue getting their work done. Um, so as we go into ISC, we're really focusing on enhancements around taking advantage of new economics and all flash, um, putting NVMe into more workloads. And, you know, I'll talk a little bit about how we're using the cloud to um, accelerate some of the compute and performance that may not be able to be done in the data center of some of our HPC users. Okay. Okay. Next. Well, Molly, I've brought up my your slides. Why don't we start with that and we'll do a Q&A at the end. Okay, great. So if you take a look at the changing hardware economics slide, um, there's been some really interesting changes going on in the market that are affecting all of the storage vendors right now. Um, effectively, NVMe SSDs have now crossed the point where um, they're more cost effective than SATA SSD. And um, they're getting closer and closer to the price of the high performance spinning disk. So what that really means for users is um, I think the, the day of NVMe has arrived where it doesn't need to be used just for specialized workloads. And we're being able to start to pull it into more and more of the, um, the standard storage platforms that we use for longer term retention for a lot of the analytics work that the HPC market is really focused on right now. So at, at ISC 2019, we're going to be showing um, our NVMe-based hardware platforms, some of which have just been refreshed this year. And one of the great things about what Cumulo is able to do, because we're a software-defined storage company where um, we provide commodity hardware, customers can choose their platform from HPE, Dell, Cumulo. Um, we've already pre-certified those configurations and platforms. We can pass these new NVMe prices directly to our customers without a big long qualification process. So um, they have access to this much quicker than they might with you know, some of the other solutions they're checking out right now. As you go on to the next slide on um, talking about built for speed, um, what we really see our users in this space wanting to see is benchmarks, performance details of, as they look at what their file system purchase will be for their next compute job um, for their next budget cycle. Um, typically, we're being compared against um, the, the traditional parallel file systems like GPFS and Lustre, and then some of the more um, scale-out NAS types of environments that are seen often more in the, in the scientific research space like Isilon. And what Cumulo is really looking to be able to deliver is um, continual upgrades in the performance capabilities of our file system to always take advantage of the new hardware technologies out there. So we're demonstrating that in the Cumulo distributed file system in just the last three months as we started to put these new NVMe um, devices into the mainstream portion of our portfolio, we've accomplished um, up to 40% write performance increases by moving to new kernels optimizing our NFS and SMB interfaces, or how we do page writes to our systems. We've done a lot to continually improve the performance on the write side. And then as you think about the read side and jump over to um, the next slide on ever-changing economics, what we're talking about on the read side is being able to use predictive caching that mo moves content to the fastest media in our systems possible to always have the reads go as quickly as a customer needs them to be. So putting as much of the content as we can into memory instead of just SSD, um, pulling everything off of hard drive as we use machine learning to know in a workload what content's going to be most likely pulled next based on read patterns in our systems. So there's a lot that we've been doing in our file system to take advantage of cool new hardware, um, all this AI machine learning um, that's now available to all of us and we take advantage of throughout our workloads is integrated fully into our systems now as well. 
as we jump onto the next slide and you take a look at kind of what is Cumulo and really what is the technology that enables customers um, to have a new modern file system that is designed for HPC environments, but also has a lot of the attributes that uh, enterprise customer needs, like really high availability, um, simple to manage, simple to deploy. And you know, what we see is every customer these days has so much data that even if it's not our largest supercomputing customers, there's HPC or clustered computing in nearly every enterprise in the world these days. So having the, per the performance capabilities of an HPC workload with hundreds or thousands of clients, a distributed file system, but then also be able to deploy it in an easy fashion has made Cumulo super attractive in um, smaller projects, enterprise projects, scientific computing projects, as well as the more um, you know, prevalent supercomputing um, focus that we often see at ISC. So that's it. what we really are delivering to our customers is a real-time architecture that when you want to run API calls, analytics jobs, do system management tasks. All of that can be done real time without having to do a file system scan, extensive metadata calls that can take a long time to get results back in really large capacity environments. We've built this real time architecture into it that our um, administrators can get information about their environment much, much faster. Um, they can get information about hotspots and performance. They can do chargeback by project. They can move content around by project all in a very real-time way. And that's one of the kind of new ways of thinking about storage architectures that we're going to be showing off at ISC. And then if you look at the next slide and talk about software-defined storage, um, kind of sounds like a marketing term, but the main point that I really want to make is we are a software company and like to give our customers the options to have a flexible choice of platforms. Um, they can buy, you know, in Germany, for example, HPE is super po popular and they resell Cumulo software. We see a lot of our deployments going out through HPE instead of Cumulo um, directly through our VARs. But also we can pass on commodity pricing. Um, we can get new platforms to our customers much, much more quickly. And I think kind of most importantly, when you think about these big projects um, that often are budgeted and being um, assessed at the ISC conference, we give our um, end users the opportunity to know that they have a lot of control over um, three years into the project, five years into the project, what will they um, be able to predict their pricing will be as they add capacity and, up and do upgrades that um, we don't have any vendor lock-in on the hardware side. So there's a lot more flexibility than they might have had in some of the appliance vendors out there. I already talked about the real-time analytics. We have a slide in here um, that really talks about not just the um, real-time infrastructure we have for answering questions and being able to do administrative tasks, find hotspots, those types of things, but we have a great view, um, an administrative GUI that a, an administrator can go in and look at anything in their system by directory tree, by file, by um, user by client to really understand um, which projects, which workloads, which applications, which IP addresses are consuming system resources and be able to optimize on that, charge back on it, um, contact the content owner if they're using too much resource. We really make this very easy for an administrator. And then lastly, you know, I think you can't go to a conference without talking about the cloud just a little bit. Um, Cumulo is designed as a cloud native architecture. What that really means for us is um, if you have a workload that is primarily on premise, but you want to do some burst computing in the cloud, if you want to use the cloud to move content between um, the originators of your data and the users of your data, there's a lot of different ways that cloud is starting to hit HPC architectures and Cumulo is designed that the exact same software the exact same code releases can run on-prem or cloud natively, um, and you get the, the ability to very transparently integrate the cloud into your workflow in a variety of ways without um, having to add new technology, tiering applications, or anything to take advantage of it. So really, that's what we're going to be showing off in the booth um, this year in Frankfurt, and I appreciate the chance to talk about it with you, Rich. Well, well, thanks for that, Molly. You know, uh, you know, the first question that comes to mind is I was reading this the other day. Someone described that the real bottleneck in AI is storage these days. Would you agree with that? And 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 if so, what what do you guys bring to the table there? Yeah, I I think that 
Um, you know, the things that NVIDIA have done on the processing side, and, you know, we're all looking at how do we optimize for AI. Yeah. And there's bursts in, you know, networking, then there's bursts in the processing and whatnot. And storage has to do our part for sure as well. Mm -hmm. um, and what we're really seeing in AI types of workloads is, um, generally speaking, it's those are being run through file systems, and file systems have historically been pretty optimized in the HPC space in particular for um, streaming throughput, big computers, streaming big files, um, fast content. And yeah. AI is just set up differently. So yes, I think it's super important. Um, we have AI reference architectures at Cumulo that will optimize the appropriate, more cache, for example, um, a different type of processing, um, you know, optimizing not just the hardware, but then also the software. So that in an AI type of workload, you can have extremely high transactions without a lot of read and writes, for example. So it is a thing, um, we're constantly optimizing for it. Um, we're deployed in AI workloads a lot, and hopefully we keep pushing back to someone else that they're the bottleneck, but it's a real challenge for all of us. Yeah, yeah. Well, great, Molly, you know, it, it, it takes years and years to develop you know, a high performance file system and NVMe is a relatively new technology. What are the roots of Cumulo? Where did it where did it start from? Yeah, um so the our original founders and our founding chief architect was from Isilon. Um so they have a lot of experience in scale out. Um they were uh, the business side as well as our architectural side came from the Isilon days. Mm -hmm. Since then we've built in quite a few folks that are from the cloud world, people from Azure for example, um who are integral in our cloud native deployments. Um yeah, you know, so we have deep file system expertise in the company and we when we founded the company, we started out by talking to a thousand customers before we wrote a line of code <laughs> yeah. and asked them, do you need, what's, you know, does the market really need another file system? And if it does, what would you want it to look like? And, mm -hmm. you know, probably too long for this um, particular discussion, but yeah. we really changed a lot of the tenants about how people think about file systems in a, in today's world and made quite a few changes from really anything that's out there right now. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. So I guess uh, the, the last question for you, Molly, is uh, if someone is uh, kind of interested in what they're hearing here, how do they kick the tires on this and see if it works for them? Well, we'll definitely have a booth in Frankfurt at the uh -huh. ISC conference, um, or you're more than welcome to jump on our website. And we have folks there to chat with you live. You know, you send, send us an email, um, contact me, mpresley at cumulo.com. Um, any of those ways, we're pretty easy to get hold of and would love to talk with you at the show out in Frankfurt. Okay, okay. Well, Molly, hey, it's great to talk to you again, and I'd like to thank you for uh, coming on the show today. Yeah, thank you for having me. You bet. Okay, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on high-performance computing.